Yeah, let's let's show this part. Alrighty. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 49, Preparation. In today's episode, we did several things. We kicked off by looking at Twitch categories, and we made a few learnings since the last time we checked. Music has now become a top-level Twitch category. When you go right into Twitch, it's right up there next to eSports. Um, Music is also considered part of the IRL in real, life, in real life category and the creative category. The reason we were working on this is because we are continuing to prepare for presentations this month and next where we are composing concept diagrams, which we showed you last time. And we were asked, why are you showing this under music by one of the chat? And the short answer was, because we don't know where else to put it. So we still don't know where else to put it. At the moment, we're not sure. We looked at art, um, but we did learn that we could add composing as a new tag under music, and we did that, and we verified that it worked. Um, another cool thing that we did today is that we went into our 3D platform and made the scale that we're working with, which is C2442558, into its own uh, piano kit and this is it right here so the scale goes like this and to verify that we would go to our tonality reference area here and we would listen to it so I'm sure you heard that that's exactly what it sounded like but again the reason we do this is because it's a lot easier to pick out uh, interesting sounding melodies just da, da. like that and then and then and then take them back over here and make what we were calling a figures work area so and you just heard a little bit of that a minute ago I'm just gonna there we go so we added a subcategory composing to our stream information where music and verified that it works in Twitch search. We also had to go back to our poise animation because we're getting ready to share it for open mic. And we needed to add a few seconds at the end so that it would, um, it would segue smoothly into the end title. So we got that. Take a look here. Fade to blue, fade to blue title, and end. And the way we did that was a new way, is we used our Reaper program. And here at the very end, it ends at 5 minutes and 5 seconds. And the way the animation program works is it stops everything. When, it, when the sound stops, everything stops. So we figured out a way to add 7 more seconds, which basically we chopped off a piece of this and duplicated a bunch of times and uh, re-rendered that file so it now had extra seconds added and then we used that in the animation program right down here and you can see we used plus plus seven seconds right there that's the one we used and then we also had to go into here and make sure all of our then then we went up here and we pushed all of these uh, playlist timing windows out and added three here for the blank and then go into the title blue. Anyway, long story short, after a bunch of adjusting of the actual start times, um, it came out great. So we have a rendered movie of this to share at open mic. Woo! -hoo! Um, then we continued working in our improvisations and improvisation one, we, we ended up doing a lot of fun stuff, but we're just going to play it for you. It's short.
And long story, funny story about that symbol coming in there, but we were putting all these pauses for effect, and we were demonstrating how you can, one way to compose, order contingent composing, is to start with a cadence, which is what we did up here, and then pick out a backbone and a polyphone. And along the way, we figured out a new way to, to select polyphone notes. Uh, uh, there, there's... The only way we know how to pick out a melody from the chords is to just listen. La da da. And then we were, then then we would pick out a polyphone by listening, but now we started to realize that we could complement if we looked at the energy story at the top line which is an ambivalence, the middle line which is an urge then we could pick what the third line did, does. Um, like here we had choice of two notes and sometimes there's only one obvious choice. Uh, anyway, we had fun with that. And then because we were hearing a pause between sections, we just filled it in with a, with a symbol for fun. So, uh, and we also ended up spending a lot of time editing this silly symbol rhythm right in here, because here, bang, 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 bang. But you wouldn't believe how long it took us, unless you were with us, for us to get, where, figure out where to put that. And the answer was, the reason this sounds cool, but -da 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 -da, bang, bang, is because there's three thirty seconds of a pause. But here, the full scale uses up a note, so we have to wait 3.30 seconds before we hit the drum again. It seems obvious now, but back then, oh my god. We should, we should label this, you know, 3.30 seconds. Pause. Just to remind ourselves, how in the world would you come up with that? So that was kind of fun. So what we're going to do is... Since we did spend a bunch of time over here in the 3D world, having a lot of fun putting that together, basically we had to, again, make a copy of the 12-tone piano, uh, copy it up to here, but you see... When... That's the scale, but nobody, you know, black and white key, so what? Then we color-coded it, minor scale at the top, and then uh, major scale coming down the bottom. And then, we learned this from the other scale, we have to extend it, extend it above and below so we have a lot of range to get the upper and lower octaves and really stretch out and come up with some cool sounding figures. So here are the figures we came up with and some intervals so far. Here we go. So that ends today's stream. What we like about what we've done, A, we're ready for, to share uh, the poise composition. Uh, B, we learned a little bit more about working with our uh, digital audio workstation. I mean, the old day, the old way that we would have um, added blank space at the end of a composition was to add bars here and re-export everything. It's a heck of a lot easier to just export this. It's faster. Uh, and we have to remember that we did it. And the way that we remember we did it is when we saved the file, we said plus seven seconds. Uh, what else do we like? We like that we were able to edit our category for Twitch. And we have more work to do there. And because we like sharing with you the visual composition, because after all, this is composing in multiple dimensions and... Uh, visual goes with that. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Shout outs to Yushwani, who participated quite a bit, and Divyan Shragawanashi. 
All right, I'm, and Miss Cleo, do come back next time. Do take care and do keep on streaming.